Zero Trust Network Access is an access control method that uses client device identification, authentication, and security posture tags to provide role-based application access. The Fortinet ZTNA solution consists of three key components, including FortiClient EMS, FortiClient application, and FortiGate serving as the application gateway. This is the topology diagram of the test device architecture, including a Windows PC with FortiClient installed, a FortiClient EMS server, and a FortiGate application gateway serving as the fabric route. Their IP addresses are all within the same subnet, labeled below each device. Next is how to configure each device to make them work together. This is the Fabric Devices page of the EMS running at this is this IP address. Click the Refresh button to confirm that there are no unregistered FortiGates. Then open the Fabric Connectors page on FortiGate. At this point, FortiClient EMS is disabled. Click Edit and enter FortiClient EMS setting page. Click on Enabled, enter a custom name, EMS's IP address, and port. After confirmation, an EMS server certificate verification page will pop up. Click Accept. Later, the system will pop up 40 client EMS status page. Click Authorize. FortiGate will automatically bring up the login page for EMS. After logging in, select Authorized and then Save. Wait for a moment, the page will display the FortiGate is authorized by FortiClient EMS. Refresh the Fabric Connectors page. FortiClient EMS will display as enabled, and the registered EMS IP address will be shown. Go back to the EMS Management page, refresh the Fabric Devices section, and you will see that FortiGate has been authorized. Let's open the client PC. The FortiClient interface shows that this PC has been registered on the EMS server. Open the console interface of FortiGate. Run this command to list the registered client PCs. The result does not display the registered PC. Why is that? Go back to the PC. Open the network settings and set the default route to the FortiGate's address. Return to the FortiGate console window, enter the previous command again. And the detailed information of the PC is displayed. So far, we have successfully set up the ZTNA environment and it is running smoothly. The next step is to configure the access proxy feature. First, define a VIP with the external address as 192.168.1 for.99. Then, define an access proxy referencing this VIP. The real server being pointed to is this address. The address is a fully qualified domain name. Define the address of this domain name in the local DNS database. Run this command to confirm that the DNS proxy has successfully resolved the IP address of the domain name. Open the Windows browser and visit the VIP address. Wait a moment, the login interface of the configured serial server has opened. If you prefer using GUI, you can view or configure it on the following pages. Here is the configuration of the VIP and access proxy. Here, a fully qualified domain name type firewall address is defined. Here is the local DNS database. Please note that you need to enable the DNS database and explicit proxy options in the system's feature visibility settings to configure on GUI.
This video demonstrates how to configure ZTNA architecture and implement the access proxy feature. Enjoy!